Your Vipers will travel right to left across your radio in the whites with a dark blue, yellow, and red trim. The V's in their blue Penticton Knights jersey, lighter blue, white, and gold going left to right. Your opening faceoff is presented by Lakeview Door Service. Residential and commercial installs or repairs open a new door today at Lakeview Door Service. For the V's, just expires. We're all even, five on five. As Bradley, or pardon me, Luke Wilson cuts in on the back end. Tries to drive the net. Scores. So the V's walk up the ice. Luke Wilson drove wide. Finn Williams was in front, able to get a stick on it. And the V's have opened the scoring. It's one to nothing. Shots are seven apiece for Print Tech. Peter Meyer will play one to the right side for Finn Williams. He's got a good shot. He took it. It was blocked. Oh, and what a bounce to Josh Niedermeyer, and he scores. Uh, you couldn't have seen worse luck for one side or better luck for the other. Williams just tried to put a shot. It was blocked how you draw it up, but it went right to Josh Niedermeyer, and he makes no mistake. The V's late in the period take that 2-0 lead. Loose in the circle. Tonelli will get another chance to move it. He'll clear to the line. Again, couldn't get it out. Alipo holds. Tries to get a lane. He's in. He shoots. Stop. Top. Rebound. They score. Casey McDonald. Vipers had all sorts of trouble getting out of their own zone. Tonelli couldn't clear it. Alipo puts it to the net. Clark the first save. And Casey McDonald puts home the rebound. It's 3-0. Here's Casey McDonald. For Bottini in the right wing corner. Drop pass for McDonald, driving the net, feeding in front, a score. Josh Niedermeyer's got his second of the game on a centering pass from Casey McDonald. Niedermeyer got it just through the arm of Rowan Clark. 9.08, the time of the goal, Niedermeyer's second. That one just got through the 14 hole of Clark who looked like he tracked it well, but somehow that one found some daylight. And Viper's in a big hole here, it's four nothing. As they get in with speed, Lorenz back across, Milburn shoots and scores! Regan Milburn gets the look from the left circle as the Vipers got in with speed. The Viper power play finally strikes and it's four to one. Great entry into the zone. Milburn with a good low shot to the glove side. Time of that goal, 11-10. Bees will get the clear to the line on out. Barr holds it in. Here's McDonald on his off wing. Feeds one in front. They score! Ryan Shostak gets the deflection as the Vipers hold the line. The power play strikes again. And don't look now. It's 4-2. Time of the goal will be 16:51. Ryan Shostak gets his first of the season on the power play, but the Vipers made a mistake. They took a penalty that did not need to be taken. 10 seconds left. Luke Wilson poke checked at the line. Mercer's got, or pardon me, Lorenz has it, and the horn's going to sound to end this one. Well, the Vernon Vipers, you wanted to see a better effort in the third period. Fair to say you did. They had some positivity on their power play that got them back in the hockey game, but too many mistakes. The big difference in this one fell apart in the middle period. Some ill-timed penalties. Sort of did them in tonight. So the Vipers fall by a score of 4-2 to two in game number one of 54.